All right, hi, uh, how you doing? My name is Scott Herrick, and this is my self-rise review for research and media communications. Uh, this was a very informative, enlightening class. It had me thinking about things that I never really had any insight on before. I went into this course uh, with an open-minded attitude. I wanted to get the most out of it that I could. Uh, I feel like my projects got got the most they could out got the most they could out of me, even if I was lacking knowledge in the subject. Of course, um, having a background in design, I feel like the ones that involved actually creating a visual uh, came, came much easier to me, but I still had fun learning on the new subject. Um, it, was a, it was fun kind of doing the research and figuring out what I needed to, even if I was just you know creating an infographic or a poster or something. Um, as I started working on my projects, I realized I wanted to know more about the different types of research. I had no idea that information on the web beyond Google search existed, so I feel like I had a little experience in searching as I always seem to be able to find things that others looking for the same topic were unable to, so I don't know what methods I used, whether it was the way I used the words or in quotes or minuses or pluses, but I always seem to come up with info more so than when people were looking for the same thing, but I still had no idea to what extent it's possible. Uh, if I can't find something right away, I actually enjoy like the hunt and locating, locating it if I can't find it right away. So these new skills, they'll definitely be helpful in just that. Um, as I stated before, learn that there are several resources beyond Google search and, and even the ways that you search a known search engine can be improved upon based on how you input your, your information. I learned that there are different types of research, qualitative versus quantitative, for example. Um, it's very helpful when looking for information and knowing not only the different types, but also what those types mean and why the difference is important. Um, so it's kind of cool learning new things like that and knowing you know, the numbers versus just information. And it's good, it's fun, it's fun to know and it'll be useful in the future. As with anything, timing has always been my biggest enemy. Uh, I love the accelerated programming here at Full Sail, but sometimes it also becomes a burden to have an entire semester be only four weeks long and working a full-time job and owning my own company and being a father of two boys and a fiance and a wedding planner for a wedding in less than three months in the middle of uh, COVID, it can definitely be tricky. So I try and allot my time the best I can. I definitely become better at time management being an MCBS so far. So I'd have to say if I could do anything different, it would just be to dedicate more time into learning new things such as research. But I'll definitely take the techniques I've learned this month and apply them to future endeavors and plan on going back and rereading some of the articles and videos and the methods from this course. So it's great to, I'll definitely be redoing the LinkedIn course on SEO because I, I feel like I did it, but I want to go back and really retain it when I'm not under a time crunch. I think having these newfound skills in research will be a great help in my current job here at Full Sail over in Platinum, but also we do marketing. I'm constantly having to find new methods and answers to existing problems. So even down to just finding like a new t-shirt or best price or you know the closest place with inventory of those, I feel like having a new found skill in research can kind of help with those type of things. Um, you know, and suppliers. So I look forward to applying these skills and thank you, Shannon, um, for everything you've taught us this month. And it was a very fun course and I look forward to uh, the next thing at MCBS. And thank you.